Hello beautiful Capricorn tribe. I'm here today with a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. So anyone with Capricorn strongly in their chart could resonate with this message. That said, my friends, I'm not all Capricorn people are in the same life template. We're all different ages. We're all moving at different speeds. We live all around the world and going through different depths of situations. So um, not all stories that come forward will resonate with you every time, but hopefully there's something here that can help you in your journey forward. My beautiful friends, I welcome you in I welcome you into this space just as you are in this moment. I welcome you here. I'm glad you're here. And I look forward to seeing what type of story, what kind of story comes out for us today. If I'm going to go ahead and shuffle, um, if you do not like the shuffling, if the noise disturbs you, just move forward in the video to where the reading begins. And there's usually someone who will put a timestamp in the comment section for us. All right, let's get going. Uh, Spirit, please help me connect in with... Um, the current energy of this group of Capricorn people, the current energy, current energy of Capricorn, current energy of Capricorn, current energy of Capricorn, current energy of Capricorn, please. Current energy of Capricorn. Current energy of Capricorn, please. There you are, Capricorn. Okay, what is Capricorn stepping into? What is Capricorn stepping into, please? What energy is Capricorn stepping into in the next seven to ten days, the next couple of weeks, next three weeks, the next incoming period of time? period of time, depending how fast each and individual Capricorn is moving. What is Capricorn stepping into in the next immediate wave of energy that's coming forward? What is Capricorn stepping into? What is Capricorn stepping into? What is Capricorn stepping into? Guidance for Capricorn people, guidance for Capricorn people, please. Guidance for Capricorn people. Guidance for Capricorn people. Gotta breathe to push this through. Guidance for Capricorn. Okay, give me a minute here to get into these energies. All right. First of all, it's like my throat chakra is blocked. That's for sure. 
I'm sitting here trying to talk and I feel this big, oh, we do have the Knight of Swords in reverse. <sighs> Capricorn, this group of you is, you have this nagging feeling that you're heading into some sort of situation. Um, it's like you are feeling like you're free falling into some sort of situation. I don't know if this is because remember, fear is not a fact. Fear is an emotion. It is not a fact. And there's a lot of fear here with this Knight of Swords in, in the lateral. Um, you could feel like you're falling forward into something. You're falling forward into something. Have you been pushed into something? Or are you just letting go of something? I think you could be letting go of something. And you might not even be saying it there. There might, you might be in a situation where you're letting go of something, letting go of you're surrendering into something, or you're letting go of control of something, or you're saying, this is a situation I have no control about. This is something I have nothing I can do to control this situation. And so you're saying, I release it. Come what may come what may. I release this. I release this to spirit. I release this to my guidance system. I release this to my religion, to my belief system. I release this to my spiritual team. I ask you, my spiritual team, to help me, guide me through. The <clears throat> See, that's my throat chakra. It's like, I don't think you're, t <sighs> I don't think you're talking about this. I don't think you're saying anything about this but you're sure feeling the intense and energy. There's an intense energy that you're feeling. And I don't think it's anything that you're saying. And um, I don't think. It's like you're moving forward. You're moving forward, but people may not know, or you're not being able to really talk about this, what this is. You could be struggling with your words. You could be struggling in how to say this, what to say. You don't want to create chaos. You don't want to create destruction. You don't want to create any kind of crisis. Um, but there's something here that is not healthy. There's something here that you're working through. Um, I see you moving through the devil energy. This is your energy, Capricorn. I don't necessarily mean that your energy is toxic. I just mean that you're definitely in this picture and there's some kind of situation that you're moving through that is difficult, that has a low density energy. What I mean by low density energy, it's like it's hard to make it through. The other day, what's coming to mind is the other day I was during meditation, I um, kind of hit upon some resistance that I had within me and I worked through that resistance. And then the next day, everything felt really hard. Like it's, it's like, I felt like I opened up um, something new that I learned about myself. That was like a can of worms. And then after I uncovered it, I had to pick through it and pick all the worms out of it and, and get everything clean again. And that energy can be dense. It can take us some time to move through that energy. It can take a lot of energy to move through that energy. It can take a lot of strength to move through some kind of energy that's thick, um, that requires acknowledgement of something within us or some kind of, um, it could be it, what I was moving through with myself was some sort of ego, ego that I had within me that I didn't really realize I had. And I, I like, I uncovered it because I do, I do a lot of work with the subconscious, with my own subconscious. And I think I uncovered something. So this is what they're bringing. They're reminding me of this. It was thick and it was hard. And the next day, like I was in a low density, I was thinking thoughts that I rarely think I was being, I had these thoughts that were like, not very positive, And I was couldn't figure out what was happening. And then I realized by the end of the day, okay, I think this is what it is. It's like, I'm walking, I'm, I'm moving through some really thick energy that I need to, um, I need to purge myself from. So it, it's just reminding me of that. It's thick. It's difficult. It, it's maybe uncomfortable. It's maybe you're realizing things about yourself that are that, that, 
kind of in a way take you back like you make you realize that yes like there are going to be days that are hard there's going to be times in our lives when we're in a low density it is part of the healing process it's part of the empowerment process and the transformational process so um, whatever is happening with you, you're you're releasing it now. You're coming out of a period of worry, um, stagnation. Maybe it kept you up at night. Maybe you were really struggling with something. And now you're saying, you know what? I'm going to release this. I'm going to move forward. I don't think I can talk about this. I don't think anyone will understand this. I'm going to move forward um, and move through a situation that's quite difficult for you, whatever that is. Now, this could be addiction. It could be um, any kind of obsessive behavior, any kind of fear, most likely it's fear and, um, uncovering something about yourself, learning about yourself, uncovering a weakness or managing a weakness or something here, um, healing from some kind of trauma or some kind of toxic energy that's within you or that's around you. It takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of fuel. It's, this is some, oh, Thank you. Something that I thought of the other day when I was going through this, it's like I am, you know how sometimes like some of us will drive like a car that it has a very good gas mileage. So either it's like a motorcycle that you can go a long time on one gallon of gas or, or five gallons or a car that um, it will go a long distance on a short, using a short amount of, a small amount of fuel. And I was thinking the other day, I remember having this thought, it's almost like I changed my car. I changed it from like a Prius or some kind of car that gets really good gas mileage to um, a big Dodge Ram pickup truck that uses a lot of gas because I needed a lot of energy. I needed a strong ener a strong engine to push myself through this dense energy. And so I, it, I needed a lot of fuel. I needed to rest a lot that day. I needed to eat that day. I needed to make sure that I had enough fuel inside me um, because I was pushing through some dense energy. And that's how this feels. Thank you. Thank you. So that's how this feels. We do have the star here. And this is a really important aspect to remember. There is some kind of truth and healing. There is a destiny here that you're moving forward into Capricorn. So we're going to take the star energy and move it clockwise now into the upright. So as you move through this thick energy, this dense toxic energy, whatever this devil is, and I'm going to go deeper into it, I feel right now, there is some type of true healing transparency and um, new vitality that comes after comes after this period of time. So it's almost like this is a purging that you're going through here, a purging of a situation, a purging of some toxic energy, um, healing from some kind of addiction or something. We all have those things. Each and every one of us have the devil energy within us. Each and every one of us have something that we work with all the time. None of us are perfect. We all go through this energy. It's not anything to to get down on yourself about or 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 be hard on yourself about it is something that's done that takes great courage it takes tenacity and perseverance it takes a brave soul to move through this kind of energy and what it brings you is new healing new vitality new destiny new wishes coming true um, it is a beautiful energy so i love that the devil and the star is here and what I think this is about, too, because we have the Knight of Swords, it's about learning the truth of something, learning the truth and moving forward in your own truth. Knight of Swords is about the truth. It's directness. It could be surprising. It can be shocking. Um, but I think in this case, there's not really a whole lot of speech here. Um, there's something that you're not ready to say yet, or that you're not even, you're not really able to voice yet or to construct within your voice box or from the pen and paper or on the keyboard. There's something that you're experiencing now, and it's pretty hard um, to put it down on paper, I think, for most of you. Tell me more about this devil energy. Tell me more about it. Seven of Wands, protecting yourself, advocating for yourself, creating some kind of um, um, there's something here that you're protecting yourself from, or even uncovering of yourself. Like what's in this, this rock that he is, um, putting over this cave. What is in that cave? Has that been covered up? Is, is that something somebody's lifting that rock and looking in there and seeing what's in that cave? I need more information to have something here with a partner healing from something, coming out of a period of time with, with some kind of partner. 
Um, there could be a situation here that you're healing and moving away from that had to do with a partner, some kind of disillusion or some kind of dissolvement um, of a partnership. Um, that you're you're going through this process of looking deep within this, protecting yourself, truly looking what's in that cave, what is in that cave, and what was your role, what was the other person's role, and how do you move forward here in your own truth? This is really getting to the bottom of it. Um, it's, it's getting to the bottom of it here. Six of Wands, coming out in a new way. Coming out into the community, coming out into the family, coming out in a new way, stepping forward in a new way. I think you're gaining a lot of respect. The Six of Wands comes with, res with respect, with rewards, with people seeing you, people noticing what you're doing. You're taking a chance. You're stepping forward. You're doing something different, and you're feeling very passionate about what you're doing. So this is really overcoming some kind of um, situation here where a partnership fell apart, and... Um, there's some kind of information here in this cave um, that you are investigating or coming to the bottom of or getting to the bottom of here and then moving on into a more empowered um, lifestyle or a more empowered vitality within yourself. Um, this is Aquarius energy and this is Libra, Gemini or Aquarius energy. This is a lot of, look, we have air here. We have air here. So there's a lot of clarity, um, clearing up some confusion in the mind, worry, anxiety, stress, really moving through that with a lot of power, moving through through that in from the air energy here with the Aquarius sign, finding freedom from that. So I think whatever you're doing here, you're ridding yourself, you're purging yourself of something that was quite heavy, toxic, difficult to move through. So it, it is indeed um, a powerful move, this energy that this Capricorn people um, are, are in right now. Okay, let's look at what's coming up for you in the future. What's coming up for Capricorn in the future? Holy cow, we have 10 of cups, happiness, fulfillment. We have the moon. We have this energy, lateral. Seven of Swords, lateral. We have the Empress. Beautiful. I like this. All right. Then we have the King of Wands. Two of Wands. Emperor. Oh my gosh, we have the Empress and the Emperor over over. We have the Emperor over there. So we have a counterpart energy. We do have a partnership here. So as you're moving into the future, you're, you, the King of Wands creates. He's a creator. He's an inventor. He's a creator. He is um, takes action. Could be a man or a woman. This is an energy that a man or a woman can carry within them. It's a fragment within them. It's a part of their personality, the King of Wands. Each and every one of us, does it not matter our gender, has within us a King of Wands. It is the energy that we take in our outside world, in our external world, not within us, not in our heart center, but we do it out in our world. World. We make changes in our world, in our external world, to bring in new life, to bring in new vitality, to bring in new invention, new creation. The King of Wands is a creator. He's a builder. He's a performer. He's out in the public eye. So what I see you doing now is, is creating for yourself a situation of renewed vitality. Um, you're taking action now. You're doing things. You're fixing it. You're creating it. You're you're working on bringing emotional fulfillment into your space. Now, there could be a king of wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Absolutely could be because we also have the emperor here. Um, could be an Aries person or could be a very fiery, powerful person in the public eye. Somebody who's quite dynamic. Um, very charismatic, can really pull people to them. This could be a performer, a presenter, anyone within any industry that's very um, tenacious and very powerful with the energy. They build from their abdomen. They take the passion that's within them, and that passion pulls them forward, pushes them forward into new creations. So this can be a very dynamic, powerful individual, man or woman. Um, so you could have someone like that in this scenario. Um, but there's definitely here something... Um, that's coming forward here, um, the Ten of Cups and the Moon. I, I need to dig a little deeper here. Hold on a second. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. 
So you're really working on taking this situation and flipping it. You're taking it and exchanging it for the opposite because we have the Ten of Cups in the upright with the Ten of Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's something here. Um, you could have really lost your sense of stability here. You could have lost. There's something that you lost. There's something that you're letting go. You're letting go of something. Um, there is a sense of mystery around this or a sense of the unknowing of the future. Um, but there could also be something here um, that you're giving up that just wasn't a healthy um, something around this ten. See, the Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. So you once had something. You once had some stability or you once had, um, there could have been a lot of money here or a nice legacy or a nice home or you could have had everything you've ever asked for. But here's the thing, it's in the reverse. So something happened here. We have the seven of swords in the lateral over the top of the moon. The, the two of wands is connected to it. The emperor is connected to it. The empress is connected to it. Everyone is connected to this betrayal. So there was something here that caused you to make some kind of revision in your journey, make some kind of a revision in your path. And that revision that you've made, the changes that you've made were spurred on, were initiated from some kind of theft or betrayal or something here that something was taken away from you. And it involves some sort of unknowing, some sort of unsteadiness, some sort of uneasiness. So you're, you're working hard now to bring in a new emotional fulfillment. And I think what you're saying is my happiness, my joy, my bliss state comes first. Um, I am taking what I once thought was my steady place, was my solid rock, and I'm saying that has a collapsed around me. And now I'm beginning to make changes in my life um, to bring in a new kind of happiness, a new kind of, um, of emotional fulfillment. Um, I, I really see it to be true. So we, we have the two of wands here as you move forward. So it looks like as you move forward, you are making some kind of strategy change. So there is some kind of change in the path that you're taking. See how you're stepping through the door here with the two of wands. So you're actually stepping, right? You're stepping. So you're taking action now. You're deciding which way you should go. So um, where you're currently at is you're releasing the situation. You might not be talking yet. You might not be able to say anything yet, but you're certainly moving forward with something. Um, and you're, and you're working your way to, to new health and new vitality, new truth for yourself. And it looks like as you move into the future, you do make some kind of decision here to revise your path, to revise the way that you have been moving in the path, to change it up here. Um, you're, you're deciding, you're, you're seeing the two different options or the three different options, and you are working to decide which way should you, which way you should go. And I can't really tell you which way you're going to go, but I can tell you that something is changing. The two of wands is over the top of the 10 of swords and the 10 of swords is always revision for me. It is always changing things up a little bit. Um, it's always changing things up. And I do feel like there's a little bit of the hermit energy here too with the moon um, and that nine of swords. So I think that you've gone quite deep within yourself here um, with this Pisces moon energy and have found some interesting reflections and some interesting truth here that is helping you make some sort of a change in the way that you move. So I think that you've already found the clarity you have already found the answers and now you're deciding which way to go and how to do this moving into the future. You do have the emperor here on top of the seven of swords. You do have the empress here connected with the emperor and on top of the seven of swords. So this is definitely um, for some of you this, or for all of you, this is some, this is about a partnership because we did have the two of cups and the two of cups for me is always some kind of a partnership. Doesn't have to be love. Doesn't have to be sexual. Doesn't have to be intimate. It can be coworkers. It can be best friends. Um, it can be um, two companies that work together. It can be a, 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 people that work together within the community. It could be nonprofit groups working together. Um, it can be so many things. It can be neighbors, property with neighboring property, 
Partners, it's, it's a big term and it can really encompass a lot. But those of you that this is resonating with, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is about some kind of partnership and a revision here with this partnership, changing the ways here, changing it so that you um, experience more in emotional fulfillment and enjoyment in your life. Um, why is the two of wands here? Three of, three of swords in reverse. So coming out of a period of pain, king of swords in the reverse. So actually my deck was in the, in my deck was like this. So I was holding my deck in reverse. So I'm going to take these and put them in the upright because they were supposed to land that way. They don't want me to though. Maybe I was supposed to hold the deck like that. The cards seem stuck like that. So it looks like here you're coming out of a painful period of time. You're kind of redeeming yourself from it or allowing it to kind of happen and allowing this decision to come forward. So I, I just see that this is in the process of happening in the next few weeks or in the next several weeks. I don't think this is going to be over. Maybe it will be. Maybe it will be. But see how it's still turning and you're still stepping, it could take you a little while. And changes like this don't always happen so quickly. We're looking at the next immediate time frame. If you look at the next seven to 10 days or the next two weeks, that's not a very long period of time. In fact, that's a very short period of time. So this could still be sort of working itself out over the next couple of weeks. What I like about this situation is I see you in control of your destiny. I see you finding clarity. I see you making revisions. I see you being very clear about what this is. And I like that the three of swords is in reverse. I like that you're beginning to see the big picture and that you're allowing yourself to kind of come out of this very desperate period of time and really find your strength again. And I think that's very empowering. And it's very inspiring to see that Capricorn. Uh, it's very inspiring to see this kind of work being done because truly this can lead to the greatest and most beautiful and most profound transfer transformations that we make in our lifetimes. This can lead us into exactly what you're aiming for. Bliss, happiness, beauty, joy, enjoyment of life, peacefulness. It is the pathway to a new life. And we have to go through these kinds of really thick, dense energies and difficult situations sometimes to step onto new pathways. What does this emperor have to say? What does this emperor have to say? Two of swords. Something's coming forward here that can no longer be denied. Something's coming forward that no longer can be denied. And it's a hard situation. It's a hard... There's that two of cups in the reverse with the three of, see, and I was holding my deck right. So the two of cups came in in reverse with the three of cups. So there could have been, there could be somewhat of a messy situation here. <coughs> and that's an energy change. I do not have a cold. I do not have allergies. I am very healthy right now. That's an, that is a, that is an energy change. And then the four of swords over the top. So there, there is, it does look like um, you're able to come in out, out of the battle here in, in one way or another. You are going to find some quiet. You're going to be able to find some time to really meditate, connect in with your guidance system, your religion, your spiritual beliefs, the, the source energy that brings you strength and brings you inspiration and connects you in with clarity um, and with empowerment to move forward. There is a partnership that is changing and it could be ending but it's definitely changing here and this three of cups is over the top of the three of swords that's two threes um i just feel like there could be some messiness here what once looked to be a celebration what once looked to be joy and harmony and celebration actually turned out to be something that was quite different than that Three is a crowd. I don't know. It's it's kind of I, uh, it's a dense energy. It's really dense. I think you're gonna know what it is. Five of Wands. Yeah, I'm not gonna go deeper because you you know what it is. If you're resonating with this, you know exactly what this energy is, and I just don't want to put myself in that energy. 
It's just thick and I can feel it. My face is hot. So I put my cards back in the deck, all in the upright here. All right, let's look at what the, um, let's look at what the guidance is. Woo! What is the guidance, please? What is the guidance? Ten of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Three of Wands. I like that. Another three. Four of Cups. Well, it looks like this is a period of, of time that's coming to an end for you. A period of time where um, you were really under someone else's control. You really didn't feel like you had the freedom or the empowerment to make important changes in your life. Um, you were carrying the burdens of many people or um, you were holding up the fort. You were, you were the, the rock in this situation and this took a toll on you. And um, I, I think that um, this, this is a period of time now where you're saying, you know, I can no longer shoulder this burden. I am putting down these tasks. I'm putting down these roles and I'm saying I'm moving forward in a new way. I'm beginning to take new action now. I am ending this period of time where I am being controlled um, by someone else, where I have a lack of personal freedom. I have a lack of ability to steer my own life. We do have the Five of Pentacles here, and the Five of Pentacles talks about a necessary energy. When we move into transformation, um, we usually have the Four's energies, and the Four energies keeps us in a certain place. Four energies are usually very still. They're usually very slow moving. Um, I Before you get to the four, Five of Pentacles, you're in the Four of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles is this very holding on. Oh, here's a Four as I speak about it. Look, we have th three, four, five. Um, the Four of Pentacles energy is an energy of holding on, holding on to something, trying to push it through, trying to make it happen, trying to trying to trudge through something and holding on to something, holding on to an old relationship, holding on to an old job, holding on to something that um, no longer fulfills you, no longer um, fills your coffers or fills your heart or fills your experience, um, but it is something that you have. It's something that at least you can hold on to. And for the longest time, you can hold on to it. You can enjoy the stability of it. But at, at some point here, it is going to be necessary to move forward. And if you don't move forward, if you don't step into the unknown, step into unknown territory or step into this feeling of, okay, I'm going to do this. I just have no idea what's going to happen. I hope I'm not going to be out on the street. I hope I'm not going to lose all my money. I hope I can find another job. I hope I'll find another love in my life as I move forward. Whatever that is, it is always necessary to step into the five of pentacles. And as I'm talking about it, like I have this headache coming on. I feel this tension on my back. I feel hot. My shoulders feel hot. So it is something that's causing some anxiety. And maybe that's what was causing that nine of swords in the very beginning where you are now. You might be worried about the, the effects, the consequences of making a change. Will I ever find another love? Will I always be by myself? Will I ever find another job? If I leave this one, will I find another job? Will I find a job where I get paid this much? Will I find a job where I can actually make more money or will I always be like this? Is it worth it to change? Will I always be in this kind of cycle? That's the thinking of the Five of Pentacles. And so I like that the Three of Wands is coming over the top of the Five of Pentacles. This is talking about still being optimistic, understanding what your capacities are, what your strengths are, understanding how powerful you are, how strong your internal flame is, how significant you are as a person, your value your pricelessness as a person, understanding that, and, and also understanding what your true talents are. And because you're stepping into a place where you're going to begin to use your true talents, your natural ability, there is a real reason to be um, optimistic about this. Um, I do feel with the three of wands, and we've had some threes here, that there is something here that you have already started or something with the three of wands. Well, the three of wands is lateral with the four of cups. So there, there could be something here that's rising up in you or that there's, there's some kind of potential, or you could have even heard of a job opening, or you could have 
found an apartment or you could have a friend that's saying, hey, I have a bedroom you can use. Why don't you rent a, a room for me? It's something that's helping you in some way move forward. It's not the actual thing. Like it's not the actual ace of pentacles or it's not the actual ace, but it's something that's going to step you up. It's going to help you in some way because it is a three. Remember with the three of wands, that's where your ships are in the harbor where you're seeing them come to the point where you can actually see them with your with your human eye. So there's something here that's that's beginning or that's there's a wind in your sails. There's something that's pushing you forward here that's going to help you move through this um this energy of the the fear of the consequences. We all need a little help and I think this is fine and I'm I'm happy to see it here. So there is some sort of help that comes along um, that helps you warm your heart and put strength within you that helps you move through the five of pentacles. It's something that is helping something come into fruition here. So maybe you can't see the ships quite yet in the harbor. Or maybe um, you don't really have that foundation being built yet, but there's something here that's helping this come into fruition because remember what's the number after the three of wands it is the four of wands it is the new foundation so there's something that's building here for you we have the four of for the four of cups and this is the energy of apathy um you could be dealing with severe exhaustion you could be de dealing with depletion give yourself some time to rest Give yourself some time. We all need time to rest and recuperate. I like this Four of Cups energy. I think it's a really good depiction of the Four of Cups. Sometimes when we've been through a really difficult struggle, when we have had a, a time period of, of um, apathy and of not uh, of understanding what we don't want as we move forward, what we don't want in our experience as we move forward and not really finding anything that is what we do want, it's really difficult to continue to have the strength to continue to have that fire within to continue to have that momentum to help bring us forward into something new because remember what's the next energy that you're going to step into here it's a five of cups also a difficult energy right also a difficult energy so it's not like you are thinking that the next step is going to be all um you know candies and cake and soda pop right where did i what the heck? I don't know where this comes from. But um, I think that what, what it's saying here is give yourself time to rest. Give yourself time to take a break. Th that energy is going to come in 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 bursts. The energy of the of the Knight of Wands, the energy of, of moving forward with, with passion, um, with with energy. So give yourself some time to rest. Give yourself some time just to shut everything down and rest and not think about anything for a while. So you're going to go through periods of optimism and then periods of rest, periods of optimism and then periods of thinking, oh, I just need some time. I need to just turn my brain off, sit in front of the TV and eat some chips. I mean, honestly, we all do that. There's, there's stuff that we do. Um, it's not always this. It can be other things that we do where we just take a break. We take a break and we do something that um, is comforting to us, whether it's unhealthy or not, it's comforting. And sometimes comfort is the best medicine. So you're going to go through periods of optimism, periods of anticipation, um, feeling great about the future, feeling great about whatever this is that's coming in for you. And then you're going to have a period of time where you're going to be more negative. Um, you're going to um, just kind of want to sit there, let that flow through. Don't try not to stay in that energy, but don't stop that energy. It's something that you just have to move through. Um, and it's part of the transformation process. And um, from my own experience, when I have allowed that energy to just move through me, it doesn't last very long for me. It'll last maybe a day, maybe two days for me. And then I can start rebuilding myself again. But if you fight this energy, you fight it and you don't allow yourself to do it and you don't take the time and you don't turn it off, then you can struggle with it for a very long time. So from my perspective, when you feel the energy of optimism, ride in it, ride in it, flow in it, feel it, bring the torch, carry the torch. You know, it's, it's a great energy. And when you feel this energy of shutting down, let yourself shut down. You will get this energy back again. I promise you will. So 
it, this is an energy of transformation. It's an energy of moving um, into a more beautiful place, finding that star energy. And it, it can be, um, it can be difficult, but it can also be really exciting. And it is, um, remember when the five, after the five pentacles, what's the six? It's a six of pentacles. It's harmony. It's equity. It is um, a balancing of finances. It is improved finances. It's ability to pay your bills, save some money for your retirement, go out into the community and spend and give to others. It's a great number. Remember, these are the early uncomfortable numbers here. When you move through the five, you get to the six. When you move through the three, you get to the four of wands. That's what we all always are excited about is the four of wands, right? And when you get through the four and the five of cups, guess what you get to? The six of cups, soul inspiration, soul healing, soulmate, soul path, right? So, you know, I mean, it's, it's a, it is a progression here as you move into, um, into a new path or into a new, into a new lifestyle of some kind. All right, my friends, I am going to move to the extended. I'm going to look deeper into some of these energies. Um, let me see here what I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to dig deeper into the star energy. That's really calling out to me. Um, I'm going to look deeper into what this emperor has to say. I'm going to look at what this empress has to say. And I'm going to look at the pathways here, the, the choices. I'm going to look into the ten of into the Ten of Cups too. So those are the energies I'm going to look deeper into in the extended. And then I'll look at some people around you and kind of dig in and see what their intentions are as everyone moves forward into the future. All right, my friends, I hope this has been helpful. I hope it's given you comfort and confidence as you move into the future. There are beautiful things to come for you. And I, um, I hope you can feel that as you move forward. My beautiful Capricorns, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to get into your energy. And um, I wish you the best as you move forward. Thank you.